Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. This week I've challenged myself to make one of the smallest flower, forget me not, in its actual scale, approximately 1cm per flower head. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for our weekly tutorials. If you like what we're doing, you can also join our not so secretive community on Patreon. Link in description. Let's begin. First, Get a piece of 90 gram crepe paper of any size. You should not need more than 10 times 5 cm for this whole branch. I'm using soft pastel to colour the paper in the right blue. I've used two different blues here. Because each brand might have different blues, so I would suggest you to test your blues out. Simply spread the blue pastel to the paper. Don't forget to colour on both sides. Fold the paper and place a piece of plain paper on top. Take out our secret weapon, hole puncher. Tuck the paper in and look through the hole to make sure you punch the paper in the right position. Now we are going to cut the petals according to a template. I know it might be challenging because of its small scale. The trick is use a pair of tweezers to replace your fingers. We will need 5 petals for each flower. Then we are going to make the flower centre. Get a few of the 26 gauge wire. We will only need them as short as 5cm and a piece of wire in 15cm as the main stem. Cut a strip of yellow and olive green paper. Wrap two thirds of the wire with the green strip. And we simply roll the yellow paper on the top as a flower center. Add the tiny petals one by one and set it aside. Now we are going to add some details to the petals. I've added some white lines to the flower with my enamel paint. You can also use acrylic or even tipex instead. Next, we move on to the budding petals. I'm using my leftover 26 gauge wires in about 3cm. Bend a loop on the top of the wires. And we are going to wrap the budding flowers with some white and green paper strips. Stretch out the paper and we can start wrapping on the loop. I've used a mixture of greens and whites to represent the different stages of the budding flowers. It is a great project to use some of your scrap materials. After the buds, we wrap some green crepe paper at the bottom of the buds and the wire. Do the same to the white and green buds. Your buds might look a bit square at this moment, so we trim them down into a rounded buds. Now colouring. The buds are more pink than blues, so I've coloured them with some magenta. Leave some white buds as well, 
so you have a mixture of white, green and magenta. Remember, the tip has the strongest colour and bring it down to the whole butt. Then we can start wrapping them together. Start with the greens, then whites, magenta at the end. In order to keep the wire as slim as possible, we will have to keep trimming the budding wires as we go. After the buds, we can wrap the flowers with the buds. Start with the one with the longest wire. Again, we need to trim the wires as we go. Our first branch is done. You can also make a few branches or leave it as it is. Cut a few leaves out to decorate the branch. You can simply wrap them on. Style your flower and trim the excessive wires away. And we are done. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you like it. See you guys next week.